How's it going my truant people? Dr. Slacking, the Slacking Doctor, back with a Pokemon Crystal Truant Lock. And I did a bit of looking stuff up between episodes. If you can't tell, I am recording this straight after the last episode. I put my glasses on, I want to apologise for that first off. I, I don't know if I've ever worn my glasses on this channel. I don't really like to wear them because you guys get the glare off the lights and the screen and I don't think it looks good and it annoys me, but my eyes are just feeling a little sore today if I'm honest with you. So. I am going to wear my glasses just for this episode probably, uh, they have like a film on them that stops glare from the screen so it just helps my eyes a little bit. Uh, so please forgive me for that, I'll try and sort out some better lighting so you don't get glare in the future but right now there's not much I can do. But anyway I did some research in episodes about nature, so I know for example now that Spike, our sassy worm pool, sassy drops its speed and increases its special defence so that's why it has a slightly bad speed stat but a decent special defence stat. So I'm not too mad about that because it was if it goes to be a dust touch, for example, it's not that fast anyway. And Aperia, 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 we're going to go with Aperia. Aperia, our Caterpie, has a rash nature which lowers its special defense and increases its special attack. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not that pleased with that. Although actually special defense is still better than a special attack. So I, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like defense lower in natures in, in Nuzlocke. It might be okay to use it on mixed sweepers in competitive play, but in Nuzlocke, I, I don't want defense lower in natures at all, ever. Um, they scare me a lot. Now, I said I was going to leave some of these encounters for another time in the last episode, but ultimately, I kind of have constraints on when I can record. So. I can't really leave the Sprout Tower until night to try and get a Ghastly. Um, but we now know that the encounters in this game are slightly edited. They're not just a standard encounter. So, for example, you can get Gen 3 Pokemon. So, that kind of makes Sprout Tower a bit more interesting because I don't know what you can get in there. We might as well get an encounter in here. I don't know if it's going to be just unknown in here either. Um, let's just... I think you can get an encounter down here, right? That music's going crazy. I guess I'm wrong. I guess there are no encounters down here. Do I have to do the thing that, like, do you have to make the thing go down? Is there, like, a... Is there, like, a lower level beneath this? Is that, is that a thing? I might have to Google this. I might have to ask Google. Okay. Give me just a second guys, I'll be back and literally, I'm sorry this has been such a stop start start the episode, but I'll be back in just a second to find out how we get an encounter down here. I'm back guys, so we have to do one of the puzzles to activate the unknown to release them. Um, I don't think we can get any other, I didn't even check, you know, let's quickly check while you guys are here. Let's quickly check if we can actually get anything else down here or if that is literally it. Um, if that is our only encounter for this area. Apparently my phone is not going to work anymore, let's quickly check this. So apparently there is grass outside in the ruins of Alf. I'm really not seeing that. Um, unless you have to surf to get to it or something. Perhaps you have to surf to get to it. Um, so that's not really any good to us. Looking at the levels, I'm guessing you do. So... Best thing to do, I mean we could wait until we get a rod. But honestly, I think we're just going to try and solve one of the puzzles. Apparently if we solve the puzzles, it will trigger Pokemon or unknown appearing. Where are the puzzles? Is this the one that I just came out of? They've literally just been down here. Oh, I'm so dumb. How do I... Where are the puzzles? Where are they? Is it up in this one? Okay, I just want to get an encounter. Um, is it worth it for an unknown? Is it worth it for an unknown? I feel like I've started now. I feel like I've started, so I will continue. I will continue. You never know. when Any any Pokemon can be useful on the team, honestly. You never know. Um, let's quickly do this puzzle. Um, I've been playing a lot of Professor Layton recently. You will see why soon enough. So puzzles have, have been... Puzzles have been going on. Um, let's just say that much. I am kind of in the right frame of mind to try and solve a puzzle. Uh, this looks like it's going to be a Kabuto, I'm guessing. Look at this. This man's a machine. Um, ah, why is that not? There we go. 
something like that's not quite it is it it's that way around okay can you go there for a second you go there I think it's just the legs we've got to get in the right order does that go there that could go there how would that look there no that's not it that's better that looks better to me how does that look that looks better that looks better no that way around they look the same is that better what are we doing wrong here that looks spot on to me is it supposed to do something what oh i can't believe i'm wasting this time on an unknown this is so not worth it okay okay come on Guys, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, this gives me an opportunity to kind of talk about things. So, as I said earlier, I've decided to wear my glasses this episode because it was just hurting my eyes. But that was kind of making me think about something that I wanted to talk about in the last episode, but I didn't really get a chance. And that was, I started talking about getting my hair cut recently. And I just wondered if you guys could kind of relate to this. So, I went to get my hair cut. And basically, I have had the same hairstyle for like, probably four years now. I want to say four years um pretty much on and off like i've tried one in between but pretty much the same hairstyle now for four years and part of the reason for that is about three years ago i got glasses for the first time um and i also started growing my facial hair out a little bit for the first time and for some reason i got it into my head i don't know if somebody told me or if i just got it into my own head but somehow i got it into my head that um wearing glasses and having the facial hair that i have i only looked good if i had my hair a certain kind of way so i became like locked into my ha having my hair this set way there they definitely go up there uh having my hair this set way i just got stuck in it i was like i have to have my hair as you guys have seen it on the channel how it was previously um and i just like couldn't couldn't kind of snap out of that mindset of it having to be a certain way this makes no sense to me. What are we doing wrong here? It's got to be something with the legs, right? It's got to be something with the legs. These bits here in the corners don't really match up. That's the bit that I'm not, I'm not quite seeing. The eyes aren't lower than the legs, are they? That's never the case. Is it? No. Is it? No. It didn't. No. That's definitely it. That should definitely do something. Mm, why can't I solve this? After playing Professor Lades in so many times, this should be easy. Um, have I got the eyes the wrong way around? Is that it? Am I putting them too close together? That's it. I was putting the eyes too close together. Something that simple. The game is now not moving, so... There we go. We fall down into this chamber and this is where we can catch a Pokemon. Now I'm hoping that they've changed the encounter in this game so it's not just... A missing no? <laughs> uh, okay, that's kind of crazy. Um, will it look, can I catch this thing or is it going to break the game? Let's see if we can figure out what your hidden power is from this. A critical hit normal effectiveness so that doesn't overly help me know what this thing's hidden power is um yeah anyway what i was saying is i got so i got trapped into having the same this same hairstyle i've been wanting to change it i've been wanting to try something new but i felt like i couldn't and it got me thinking about a lot of things in life like sometimes oh that hurt more than it should have done um sometimes you kind of get to the point where you've been doing something so long or you've had something a certain way for so long that you feel like you can't change it so for example when i um when I changed my car recently, I got a new car. I'd had my other car for a little while and I loved my old car. And I got a better car, but I, I didn't want it and I, I wasn't happy about it. My old car was breaking down, it was unreliable, it needed to go. But I was unhappy about the fact that I had this much better, much more expensive like new car. And I was like, I want my old heap of rubbish car back because the old heap of rubbish car felt like it was like me it felt like it was like my car it felt like representative in some way we are just gonna name this thing um 
Missy after missing though the glitch in Gen 1 because this thing was glitched out. So we have Missy the unknown. I was hoping that we might get different encounters down here. That's what I was trying to say earlier. I was hoping we might get like some other things added to this. Uh, let's see if her sprite is still messed up. That'd be so cool if we have the only messed up uh, unknown. We do. That's crazy. We actually have a glitch Pokemon on our team. I love that. That's so crazy. Uh, with a levitate ability. Oh, I've lost all music. I don't know if you guys lost sound then. I kicked the uh, the headphone jack. I don't know if that would have affected you guys. Hopefully not. Uh, the varies in type and intensity depending on the user. So uh, we have no idea what our hidden power is. But I guess it is just unknown down there. I will go back there and grind a little bit between episodes. Just to kind of scout out if there was anything else available there. Um, but for now, we I'm kind of happy with Missy. It's kind of crazy to have... A very unique Pokemon in the sense of we got a glitch Pokemon, so that's that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, is there anything? Did we not? Oh, okay, we didn't pick these berries, apparently, so let's have those now. And we're going to go to Sprout Tower and see what we can get in Sprout Tower as well. Um, and start clearing Sprout Tower, and that will probably be what we'll do this episode, is clear Sprout Tower. Um, but yeah, do you guys ever get stuck in something, or something like you, like, almost like assimilates to become part of you? Or you get almost, so with me, with the haircut thing, it was like a fear of changing. I felt like trapped into, and not this sounds so dramatic, I was afraid, I was trapped. Like, no, it's not like that. But, like, I was kind of scared to change my hair because I was like, hmm, I don't think any other hair will look good if I have to have my glasses on and I have to have my facial hair this way because I like that, my girlfriend likes that. So I just have to have my hair like this. And I was really scared to change it. And yesterday when I went into hairdressers, I walked in planning on just having, like, a little trim. And then I got in there and I just said to my hairdresser, I was like, you know what? Let's just start over. Let's just cut it all off. Let's just start from scratch. Go real short with it and we'll just see how it looks. And she was like, are you sure? Are you sure? Because I've been going here for a little while now, a few years now. She's like, are you sure? I was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's just let's just go for it. Um, and we cut it all off. And I have no regrets. Like, I'm really happy I did it. I would Next time I'll do it slightly differently. Um, I went too, too tight on the sides. You probably can't tell because I've got headphones on. But the sides go really high with how short it is. As long as I got a little toupee on the top of my head. Um, I wish I'd kept it wider. I like it wider. Um, so you have the nice kind of line down the side of your head, you know. You guys aren't interested in hairdressing. This is this is not a hair channel, but I'm talking about it anyway. Um, so I just wondered, have you guys ever felt like that? And if you have, like, don't, don't ever feel trapped in something. Just because you've been doing something for so long or... You've had something a certain way, you might feel like people expect something from you, or you're afraid to do anything different because, hey, this works, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But don't be scared if you want to, to try something new is what I'm trying to say, because I did, and I don't regret it at all. I know now that, like, yes, I'm not 100% happy with it, but I know how I would have been 100% happy with it, and I'll do that next time. And especially with something like hair, it grows back. Like, if it's a change of clothes, if you want to try an outfit, if you want to wear something crazy... Wear something crazy. Just do it. Just go out there. Like, people might be like, what's he wearing? Or they might be like, wow, she looks amazing. Like, you never know what people's reactions are going to be. So just just go for it is what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I'm giving you guys a pep talk here, but I'm giving you guys a pep talk. Just go for it. Just try things. Don't be afraid to, like, do whatever you want to do. Just be free with this kind of thing because ultimately, I think you'll enjoy life more that way rather than being set in something. Because I was starting to be like, oh, I don't, you know. I was doing my hair in the morning, I wasn't liking it, I, was, I didn't like how it looked anymore, and not because it looked different, but just because I was tired of how it looked. I'd seen it looking like that for so long, I was just, oh, why did I click tackle again? Um, it was just become dull to me. So, you know, I needed to change it up, and I'm glad I did. And I might go back to how my old hair was in a year's time, in six months' time, in three months' time, I don't know. Yeah, probably not three months, it wouldn't grow that much, but you know. So, that's my pep talk. Pep talks with Dr. Slacking. We beat Sage Bob, and we're going to move on. Um, you guys are probably like, don't preach to us, don't, don't preach to us, we don't need your pep talks, but I just thought I would share the thoughts that have been going through my head recently. Um, one of the things that I don't think I would have discussed on the channel previously that I've been thinking about is I'm doing a master's course in creative writing, I think I've just mentioned that. For my course, I produce a 30,000 word portfolio, I think I've mentioned that as well. Um, what I probably haven't mentioned about that is that Originally when I applied, I applied to do it as a short story collection. So I would submit um, a load of short stories that were all linked together by uh, similar characters, similar themes, that kind of thing, to build a kind of whole. Um, and previously that's pretty much all I've produced. I've started work on novels and stuff before, but 
All I've ever really done is prose. I've had a few poems published, but I don't really want to go down the poetry route. That's not really... Uh, I just don't really enjoy writing them that much on a regular basis. I enjoy them occasionally, um, but for the most part, they just don't... They don't uh, excite me that much to write, so... Anyway, I sort of applied with this portfolio of short stories, and they were like, yep, let's take you on, and so I had to then produce a new portfolio of short stories for my course, and I actually rang them up last week, I think it was last week, and had a conversation with them about possibly changing what I was doing, which is interesting because they took me, my application, and assessed me on my short story writing ability, and then I rang them up and said, hey, how would you guys feel if I wrote a video game for this course? How would you guys feel if I handed in a 30,000 word video game script? And they were a bit like, mm. they, they, they were a bit confused and not entirely sure if I'm honest with you. But I'm going to go to them next week and have a conversation about that. And it kind of ties into what I was saying before and that I've always wanted to write a video game script. Always, always, always have. But I've always been terrified to do it because A, I feel like I don't know enough about computing to get involved in the video game world. I feel like, I've, I've said this on the channel a few times, I am bad with computers. I do not understand many things at all. Hence why it took me so long to get the clock working in this game between episodes. Um, but yeah, I don't know much about computers. I'm not great with them. And I was like, oh, you have to be like a designer. You have to be able to do 3D models. You have to be able to do this to get into the video game world. So I can't get involved in video games. Um, and then ultimately, that, that's just not the case. Because if I want to be a script writer... You don't need all that to be a script writer, you know? That's really not necessary. You just need to be able to write, and that's something I can do. So I decided that, you know, I should, even if I don't produce video games for my master's thesis this year, even if I don't do that, what I'm trying to say is don't let in anything in terms of your personal development, in terms of your career development, in terms of anything like that, don't let kind of fear stand in your way. The fear of failure is, is such a crushing, crushing thing, and it can be so hard to handle. I think, like, so many of us are affected by it. Um, and it's so easy for me to sit here and, guys, don't be afraid of failure. Fail all the time. Go out there and fail repeatedly. Um, it's so much easier said than done. But, yeah, I guess that's something I've been thinking about a lot recently. I kind of just want to talk about. That's what I like to do here. If you guys are new and you don't know, most of you that have been around for a while will know. I just ramble at you guys. I just talk about whatever's on my mind, whatever I feel like talking to you guys about. Get your opinions down in the comment section. It's always nice to see when you guys, you know, pop up and talk to me about it. We're actually going to speed this up, though, because... As I'm rambling, this is taking a long time. And we are stuck in because of the wrap, I believe, unless the wrap's finished. It has finished, so I wasted a potion there in a lot of ways, but it's cool. And now that we have Ember, we're actually going to start switch training Missy, because Missy could be interesting. Missy could, depending on what that hidden power is, for the early part of the game, she could be useful. And I know she's genderless, but Missy, I feel like, is a female name, so we're going to go with she. I really want an encounter though. Where is where are the Pogue in this game? I definitely feel like the encounter rate has been lowered. Imagine if it's psychic. This will absolutely ruin the spell spread. Although we are five levels lower, I guess. Oh, so it's not psychic. That's disappointing because that means it's not stab. So it's resisted by Bell Sprout and neutral on legacy. Hmm. Could be poison. Could be poison. No, that wouldn't be resisted. That would be neutral. Resisted by a grass poison type. I guess it could be grass type. Could be grass type. That would make sense because that would be neutral on legacy, I think. I don't think fire resists grass. So I'm going to guess that it's a uh, grass type at the minute. That's my current guess. What about steel? Does grass resist steel? I feel like maybe it does. So I guess it could be steel. That would be kind of interesting. Steel type. Not that good in this generation because, to my knowledge, fairy types aren't in this game. I'd be shocked if fairy types were in this game. I'm going to assume they're not. Um, so, steel wouldn't be that great, to be honest with you. Grass would probably be better. There we go. Speed on through that because I just want to get an encounter. That's all I really want here. Um, let's heal on that legacy. And heal up Missy as well. I did not remember to look at what the level limit was. Let's check out the level limit real quick. Let's check out the level limit. Um, if I can, if I can open this up. Ooh, I should have been checking that previously. Let's, let's try and get our encounter while I open that up. Completely forgot about the level limit. 
Um, I don't want Legacy to get too over leveled. So our encounter here is going to be a Zubat. Um, obviously Ghastly would be better, but I don't know if we could have evolved Ghastly. So I'm not too mad about Zubat. Crobat obviously is power. And the other reason that I'm not too bad about it is because it increases our chance of getting a Dunsparce in the, I think it's Dark Cave or whatever that cave is called. Um, so, let me see. Let me see if I can find this. Why can I not find this level limit list? Um, did it not do anything? Okay, it just does next to nothing. And Leech Life is going to be super effective on Earth, but I don't think it's going to do that much, honestly. It's not doing that much. Um, but that's obviously why it looked like it did no damage. There's me looking for the level limit and not paying attention to the game. Uh, we'll go out to Legacy. Here we go. I've got the level limits. So, the first level limit for Faulkner is... Level 11? I'm guessing his Pokemon must be level 11. So, 10% of level 11 is... Level 12, so Legacy is technically already over leveled. I shouldn't be using Legacy anymore. Whoops. <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay, Legacy is just going to have to not do anything for the rest. Level 11, really? That's so low leveled. That can't be right. I must have got these levels wrong. They must have been upped in this game. I must have been going off the standard crystal level, so... What we're going to do is we're not going to obey any level limit for the time being until we see Faulkner's level. Um, and then we're going to make a decision from there. Zubat. I haven't even been thinking about what to name a female Zubat. Uh, one day it'll be a Crobat. Ooh. Um... We're gonna... Uh, this is not a good name at all. We're gonna call her Betty. Betty the Batty. Because she's a bat. I put one T in. Okay, so it's Betty with one T, the Batty. That's fine. Um, we're gonna go back to Pokemon... Do we need to go back to Pokemon Center? Nah, we don't need to go back, actually. Let's have a look at Betty. Lax Nature. I don't remember what Lax Nature says. I am bad at this. That moveset is... Awful because if you guys don't know, Zubat's moveset is really bad early on. Um, can we kill you at least? I think that's a super effective. It did. So obviously now we know we have a fighting type um, hidden power. That's not good for this gym. Uh, why am I using a Pokeball? It's supposed to be a potion. So we're not going to bother training. Is it good? Does flying resist fighting? Or is it going to be super effective because they're normal flying type? I think flying resists fighting, doesn't it? So we're gonna we're gonna switch Missy out. Do you know what? Actually, our team is bad for this gym. Legacy is all we have, really. Um, wow. Okay, that's not good. That is not good at all. Legacy is all we have because all of the Pokemon are bug type, so they will just get ruined by the gym leader. Um, ha. Huh. Okay, that's crazy. I, I'm I'm really confused right now because this Bell Sprout's level 12, and apparently the gym leader's highest level Pokemon is level 11. So I don't even really understand how that's possible. Let's just speed this up because it's going to take so long. And I don't think we're in any danger, but oh my goodness, this is going to take an absolute age. Are we even going to have enough PP? We're probably not even going to have enough PP, are we? Oh, that did too much. Um, that did too much, but I don't want to switch out because I don't want to make anything else over leveled. And I just really want uh, Betty to get the experience. There we go, level 8. I don't know what thing this This still has wing attack at quite a high level, I think. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be much use until then. We're actually, I tell you what we're going to do because we have one and I bought it, we're going to use it. We are gonna escape rope out of here. And we're gonna go into the gym. Because I don't wanna get too over leveled. I'm really confused now about these levels. Really, really confused. Because I had got someone, basically, I got someone to look up the levels for me, I think. I think I did it that way. I'm sure I got my girlfriend to look at the levels. I'm sure I didn't write down the normal crystal levels. 
Um, so unless she's just made a mistake writing down the levels. Faulkner's ace should be level... Um, okay, there's no way his ace is level 11. Maybe I did write down the normal crystal levels. Maybe I didn't get her to look it up. I'm so confused right now. This is bad. This is really bad. I should not have come in here. At least we know that we can keep using Legacy in the uh, Sprout Tower again. So I'm glad I came down and checked this. Okay, let's go out of here. Um, let's get out of here. Let's heal up. And let's get our last... Yeah, let's get our last encounter in that cave. Um, I don't remember what this cave is called. And we'll also battle the trainers on this route for a little bit of grinding. And then we'll probably finish Sprout Tower and... The music. That music's fire. I like that a lot. I'm down with that music. Yes, this this game's so good. Such a good ROM hack. Okay, we already have used it. That's dupes. Get out of my face. Give me a Dunsparce. Give me a Dunsparce. Let me escape. Come on, don't be this way. Don't be this way. I'm a higher level than you with the same Pokemon. Ah, uh, Zubat's everywhere. Betty. Okay, so this is good for this gym. I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm completely okay with this. We can have a Geodude. Um. Uh, maybe I need to do something else other than Leech Life. Honestly, once I got it down to about halfway, I'll just throw a Pokeball. Okay, we're going to just Pokeball it now. I think this will be fine. I think it will catch at this range. A female Geodude. Ah, wow. Um, I know what we're going to name this. Female Geodude. I don't even know if we can get a Golem eventually or a Golem eventually because I don't know if we can evolve trade evolutions in this game. I don't know if they changed that. Uh, we're going to name this Adrian. I've been watching a lot of uh, Original 151, aka Vinny, and Asteroids, Soul Link. I'm sure most of you guys have seen it too. And in that, in their current Soul Link, they have a uh, Golem called Adrian. So we're going to name ours Adrian as well. It's not the Dunsparce I was hoping for, if I'm honest, but it's still, it's still pretty good. I can't complain. It's probably better than a Dunsparce, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, let's get Legacy back out front, because it turns out... He is not over leveled at all, so let's quickly, in fact, yeah, let's actually do Adrian on this bug catcher because I'm so sure Adrian will make quick work of this guy's, oh, level of 10? Yeah, still not going to do. That's fine, speed it on up, and there we go, level 8. I didn't look at what was coming in, Caterpie again. That's fine. That's the beauty of having a speed up button. Is in a normal playthrough on your Game Boy, you wouldn't want to sit and kind of grind that out. But with the speed up button, you can just do those kind of battles, get them out of the way, get that experience. Um, we're going to switch train uh, Adrian here. Are we? How much will Ember do? Let's let's use a potion. I don't think Ember's going to do that much either. So let's let's test the water against this Charmander. How much is that doing? Five. Uh, let's see how much tackle does. I wish the mud spot also weakened fire type moves as well as electric type moves because ground type is super effective against fire. I feel like putting a load of mud on Charmander would kind of weaken his uh, his uh. Okay, I guess you get like clay ovens and stuff, so maybe not. Maybe it make it hotter. But I don't know because it is the ground type. I feel like it could like weaken it as well. If that makes sense. If you see what I mean. Oh, this man has a berry. Um, we can live another two, I think. So, okay, he's going for, for scratches now for some reason. So let's speed this up. Uh, let's heal now, because this should give a lot of experience to Adrian and make Adrian kind of usable. So that's pretty important. This man just used a potion himself. That is so unfair. We don't have any more, do we? Not happy. You know when trainers use items in Pokemon games, even though we use them, it's just like, don't. that's not fair, that's that's not fair game, you're not allowed to do it too, so I guess we just gotta tackle this thing out now. 
Level 14, that's pretty nice. Uh, gonna send in a Pidgey. Let's go back out to Adrian. I don't know how much this is even really gonna do. Gust, how much is that doing against Adrian? Three damage? Uh, it's not gonna... Let's do a little bit more. It's using Tackle now. We can live a Crit Gust still. We can still live a Crit Gust, right? Okay, three. With this KO. Ah, oh, we get the crit. Adrian wants the experience. Get that tasty experience. Yummy. Level 10. Thank you very much. I was a bit concerned about that then. I wasn't sure how that was going to go down. Call cool training Gabe. Going to sign out on my chop. Um, I would have liked to have used Missy, but... Um, and I don't want to switch Legacy in, so I don't want to switch training anyone. I would like to have used Missy if she had had a psychic move, but obviously... Having a fighting move isn't great. Isn't great at all. Um, I guess it will come in useful at some point. Ah. What? This man has a focus band. Okay, this game's actually going to be tough. This game is not a straight port of Pokemon Crystal. Like, I knew a few things have changed. Obviously, we've seen Gen 3 Pokemon. We've seen a few things being switched up. But for this to have a focus band, like, that's crazy. I did not know Legacy evolved this early. What level are we? Level 14. I'm used to fire types. I know in Johto they mixed up Gen 2, they all evolve at different levels. Um, fire types, I think, are usually the last to evolve, so. That is cool. That is cool that we already have a Quilava. Uh, do you get Flame Wheel already? That would be powerful if you do. But yeah, if just a random, random trainer has a focus band, what does that mean the gym leader's gonna have? What does that mean the Elite Four are gonna have? This game is gonna be tougher than I expected. Grinding is going to be important here. Um, and building a decent squad is going to be important, honestly. Pokemon like Adrian and um, and Betty are going to be pretty key, I think, if we can keep them alive and level them up. So, how long have I been recording for at this point? I really should start checking the time. Uh, I'm going to keep going a bit longer. I don't know how long I've been recording for, guys, but um, I'm going to keep going. We're going to get probably the Sprout Tower finished. The Sprout Tower finished. Um, and then I think I'll save the gym for the start of the next episode. I think I'll do that. That seems like a good plan to me. Oh, so we could have got Ghastly. That's good to know because now I don't feel so bad about getting our encounter in here because we could have still got Ghastly. So maybe there would have been a higher chance if we'd waited or something like that. But let's just run away, actually. Um, but at least I know I could have got Ghastly, so I didn't just completely waste our encounter in here. Um, let's actually go out to Betty now and train up Betty a little bit. Because with the speed up button, we can just uh, keep pressing A. Keep pressing A and get rid of this thing. Can you not? Can you just go away? Okay, I feel like maybe I should heal now. No, it's only doing four damage to us. Ooh, who's out speeding here? Oh, I'm going to heal. I'm too scared. Oh, I'm not going to heal. I forgot to buy potions. Are we under wrap? Can we, or bind? Can we switch out? Betty, please outspeed. Okay, it uses growth. This should be enough to pick up the knockout, right? Okay, and I don't think we'll get hit by wrap or bind again because it will faint here. So, Betty goes to level 9. Betty is so weak at the minute, though. Um, we're going to switch Betty out. That'll do. That'll do for Betty. Let's let's uh, let's switch train Adrian. That's probably more useful anyway, to be honest. So, let's quickly switch train Adrian. In fact, let's not switch train. Let's just stay in. Um, I didn't expect this man to have a Hootoos. I expected him to have another Bell Sprout. So, I'm, I feel safe staying in on this thing. There we go. Um, I'm I'm skipping Hakeem's dialogue there because I want to power through this. I only care about strong Pokemon who can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. Hakeem uses Escape Rope. It's not that relevant because we don't battle him here. I guess character development, but I feel like most of us know Gen 2 at this point. We know that he's just kind of, he's only interested in powerful Pokemon. He's not interested in building bonds. When it's a battle, I wouldn't have sped it up like that, but I just wanted to get him out of the way so we could take on this mustachioed man. Um... I don't know what level this Pokemon are going to be, so I'm actually going to lead with Legacy here because I'm a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous. 
Actually, I should have led because I think he leaves with a Hutu. I don't think he leaves with a Bellsprout. So Adrian more than likely would have been fine. Oh no, he does leave with a Bellsprout. So let's get the Ember off on this man. Let's do that. Sage, Christos, and out. Yes, we will switch. Actually, do you know what? Hmm. I don't know whether to play it on set. I would usually play Nuzlocke on set. But this is a game I want to beat. I don't... I don't... Hmm. Let me know in the comment section, guys. What do you think? I'm playing it on Switch at the minute. I would always usually play standard Nuzlocke, Wedlocks, whatever on... On set. The only reason that... Actually, Wedlocks I wouldn't because you can only switch between the two by one party. The only reason I don't really want to do that is because I don't want to lose this game. I want to make sure that we make as much progress through this game and see as much of this game as we can. This game is less about the challenge. The Truant Lock is there because I want it to be a little bit of a challenge. But I want it to be beatable. So, I think I'm going to keep it on Switch. But let me know what you guys think. Um, especially because so far, this game has looked kind of like the difficulty has increased. Oh man, you've got to be kidding me. This is going to take ages. Okay, he's doing three to us. Oh, that did a bit more than three. I think we can still live a crit from that. Yeah, it did two. Okay, it didn't do more than three. It must have been a crit. Um, uh, I forgot we don't have potions, so we can't heal up. Uh, come and bail us out, Legacy. There we go. Adrian levels up. Rock throw. That's what we needed for the gym. So we're in business now. We're really in business now. Uh, Bellsprout can come out fine. Let's ember you. I can't believe things are living. Um, get out of my face. Legacy levels up as well. I guess we are adamant natured, so if we were a neutral nature even, we'd probably pick up the KOs there. Take this flash HM. Thank you very much. That is a very flashy HM. And it illuminates even the darkest of places. We need the badge from Violet Gym. That's cool. I think we have another escape rope. We do. We have two more escape ropes. So we're going to bail out of here. And I think we're going to end the episode here, guys. I will do a, a little bit of grinding between episodes. As always, I will keep the camera on me during that grinding. Um, so if anything crazy happens, I will pick it up on camera like I always do. Uh, but if not, I will just see you guys in the start of the next episode so we can take on Faulkner and his gym. And you know what I just realized? When we went in the gym... Did we use any Pokemon when we tested against that Spearow? Did we use any Pokemon other than Legacy? Because if we did, they now can't be used for the rest of the... Of, for the uh, in the next gym, can they? Oh, I hope I didn't use Betty. Because Betty would have been really good against the Bug-type gym leader with Wing Attack. I think I used Betty. Okay guys, I'll check that between episodes, but basically in a true unlock, any Pokemon used in the gym in any gym battles can't be used in the following gym. So if, when I was testing to see the levels of the Pokemon in the gym, if I led with Betty or if I switch trained anyone, they are now excluded from the gym after from Bugsy. So fingers crossed I didn't, but I will check that between episodes guys. Anyway, that's enough of my rambling. Thank you so much for loafing around with me, as always. I'm not sure how long today's episode's been, but hopefully it's been around the 40-minute mark. Hopefully it's been over half an hour. I'll be back again tomorrow night at the same time, hopefully, with another episode. And that one I will make sure is 45 minutes. I will set a timer on that one. And I will see you guys then. Thank you so much once again. I'll catch you next time.